Well, here's an example. I, I was with a client yesterday, has a property owned by the husband and wife, and yes, they're getting divorced. Now, uh, she, my client, would like to keep the house. You've got a house with a mortgage on it. The house value is about twice that of the mortgage, so there's nice equity in it. Um, the mortgage is at 3%. In fact, I think it's at 275 hmm. They're both on it. If you refinance, you're going to refinance to 7% or you know maybe 6 if you're lucky in this market. And that, that's going to make it more expensive. And can she afford it? Uh, and maybe she can, maybe she can't. But then it happens to be a property with um, a, on a very large piece of, well, relatively large, it's on an acre. And the way it's oh, wow. designed is on the other side of the property, uh, there's a tree line uh, and there is actually a couple of structures back there. And so she's saying, and we're looking at the future and we're, you know, she's 50 some years old and we're saying, look, um, you know, you're going to work for a certain number of years, but there's going to come a time when you want to retire uh, you and your husband have fairly equal income, so there's no spousal support going to be paid here. Maybe a little bit of child support, but that's not going to be terribly significant. So we've got to figure out what to do. If you're going to keep the property, let's look at the future. What can we do here? And so we started looking at and researching ADUs. Uh, what can she build on the property? Could she build something on the property where the structures are now? Or can the structures be remodeled and become something that she could live in? Uh, with There's a, uh, a teenager as well. And if she could do that, um, what would the rental value be of the main property? And what would she need to do to it to make sure that it was rentable at re, you know like if there's a lot of deferred maintenance that wasn't done and that kind of stuff and so th there's a lot of research being done like we're bringing in a contractor and we're talking to uh folks that can uh make the house look better and um we're talking to a couple of different adu builders and you know looking at permit issues and stuff like that so it's all financially related to get her to the point where she can, she might be able to have a really nice income flow from that property uh, because of the size of it and the ability to put a small structure on there that she'd be quite comfortable living in.